Ms. Barbara, thank you so much for spending time with me today and going over your um, design brief document for your new website. Uh, I want to make sure. My pleasure. I'm excited. I'm excited. The um, <laughs> so the the goal here is we're going to go through and really understand what the purpose of your site is, who you want to target, what all the different elements are going to be. We're going to also um, go through and actually make some of the decisions from a, a design standpoint on uh, how we want to use all of the different elements within the site as well. Let's see. Okay, how. sounds good. All right, awesome. Do I have your website address, barbaragilbertinteriors.com? That's correct. Is that right? Yes. All right, perfect. Okay, so the first thing is, is we noticed that the address was wrong, so we're going to get that fixed. Your correct address is um, the 4950 West Grove Drive, Suite 120, Dallas 75248. That's correct? Yes. Okay, and your business email is barbara at barbaragilbertinteriors.com. Correct. All right. And if people want to reach you, uh, what's the best phone number we want to put on all throughout the site? 214-641-7897. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So we'll make this is on here. Um, let's do some basics. What about operating hours or office hours? Um, you know, it's, it's by appointment only. Okay. So, we, yeah, it's by appointment only. Perfect. All right. Um, let's see here. So primary purpose of the website, if we we're going to break it into a handful, the first thing you said is you want to make sure that all of your um, customers and your prospects have an opportunity to really get a lot of uh, design ideas, your portfolio, your services, um, as well as you've got a video gallery you're putting together as well. So I think that is, yes. um, that's really going to help them. I love how creative people are. Now you also play a pretty big role on the house website, which is one of my favorite websites on the planet. Talk to me a little bit about what you do there and what we can get from that site. Um, I, uh, I get a lot of business from house.com um, and uh, I actually, even in the organic rank, ranking, I usually rank pretty high. Um, I explain a lot of uh, my photos, you know, why we did what we did. So um, house has been great for me. Awesome. Is there content we can pull from the house site that we can drop into your site as well or do they have any widgets we can add? You know, um, yeah, and, and actually, I won the Best of House 2012, 2013, and 2014. So I have all these House, you know, badges. But I also have some reviews on House that you can also um, pull in if you'd like. And I, and I have other reviews that are not on House. Awesome. Okay. That website, I'm telling you, I believe that... My just from pure time that I've spent on that site, I have an investor in their stock. <laughs> I know. I know. It's uh, addictive. It is very addictive. <laughs> I feel yeah. like literally I lay in here looking at uh, looking at all the different design ideas for interior, exterior, and everything else. You know what's exciting to me? I can see how many people have put one of my projects in an idea book. And the wine cellar that I did, that I, I converted a bedroom to a wine cellar, uh -huh. that went into 1160 some odd idea books. Oh, I love that. I mean, I, I, I get such a kick out of watching that. <laughs> cellar. Um, how, many, how many did it go into? 1160 some odd. 1100 yeah um, I love it I love it I love it okay well I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that on there too because that's a um, that's a big deal okay so some of the things I was just kind of going through the site and some of the things that stood out to me to be really unique about what you do and I've been um, in the real estate industry, my parents own one of the largest um, brokerages for houseboats, lakefront properties, and vessels in Seattle, Washington. And they obviously, um, you know, deal with a lot of clients that 
products that would not function without somebody doing the interior design, a professional doing the interior design, whether it's for staging and selling or for living on move-in. So um, these were the things that stood out to me and then tell me what I've missed or what we need to add or what we need to change. Um, the first thing I noticed was that you guys really take time to understand the client's taste instead of it being based on your taste or um, the criteria you learned, you know, within the design process that you guys seem to really take a, a unique approach at understanding what the client's taste for space is and then using the principles of design applying that. Would you find that as correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, also, you guys, I have not seen this. You guys are furniture specialists, so it sounds like between so you and your partners, you guys have quite a bit of uh, collaborative buying power. Um, to me, it looks like you were able to get really custom, custom, custom made items and pieces, um, dictating all of the different fabrics and buttons and types and styles and so forth. And it seems like you guys can get them for a lot less expensive than I'll say than I've paid for it, <laughs> custom furniture in the past. Yeah, that that's true. And of course, I don't have the overhead a furniture store has, you know, so, um, you know, I'm able to really give them great pricing on it. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, I also noticed you guys are a color specialists in the, um, the Dewey color system, which essentially that's all personality behaviors and um, uh, helps with moods and, and positioning all of the different rooms and styles. How do I, how do I best explain to people what that means? Well, I think, um, you know, for one thing, I think it's important to say that, you know, with the Dewey Color uh, System, I, that really, really trained my eye for color. Mm -hmm. And I understand how colors interact with one another. Um, so that that's very important. But then the other part of that is that I understand how colors affect people psychologically. Okay. So, you know, the color yellow. If you don't like yellow, it might make you nervous if you're in a room with a lot of yellow. Um, red uh, typically makes your heart uh, beat faster and your blood pressure go up a little bit. So, you know, if we're working with uh, hyperactive children or, you know, uh, that type of thing, we want a very soothing environment. I absolutely know the colors that go together to, to, to make that work. Awesome. I just thought about all of my brands for all of my companies is all red and black. <laughs> when you said hyperactive, it's funny. <laughs> it's totally. <laughs> you you know what, Jennifer? That's one of the reasons I chose that um, my uh, logo color and and that kind of aqua mm -hmm. color um, is because it's kind of soothing. But yet, it makes people feel very uh, welcome, and it's kind of warm as well. You know, we so. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's very neutral too. Uh, Thank you. Okay, next one. Um, you guys have a design studio that is amazing. Um, I basically put in there that I thought you would save people time. I've been um, on different trips with interior designers, and it's sometimes ex exhausting on the number of trips you have to take to find all of the right pieces and the right swatches and uh, everything else. You guys have everything in-house? Yes, we do. That's correct. Awesome. Okay. Um, talk to me. Can I interject something, yeah. please? Please. Okay, so my ideal client, um, I think, is something that's going to have to really be defined, and I think especially for the designers, um, to uh, because I my ideal client is someone that lives in a house that's say, you know, six hundred and fifty thousand on up, and um, it would be a very very busy either uh, professional executive or even a housewife that really doesn't have time to uh, do the design work or the know-how. So they hire me to do everything from concept to completion. So my firm and I then, we, you know, we, we meet with them, I give them homework, we go over budgeting, you know, we, we do all that. And then once, uh, then once we start the design work, 
we actually, you know, do the furniture floor plans and bring them all of the fabrics and everything that they need to see, you know, to their home, or they can come into the office, you know, either way. Um, and then we do everything from concept to completion. We order all the furniture. All my clients really have to say is yes or no and write a check. They like something, they don't like something, they tell me, you know, and um, they write a check and then we do everything else. We schedule all the contractors and uh, we have a window treatment people, you know, whatever we need, we, we take care of it and we're there for the installation as well. I love it. I love it. I'm, I live in an outsourcing world. <laughs> I just, uh, I know the value of time. Right. No way I would attempt to do this without having an interior designer. Um, yeah. I mean, it's the, it's the value of time. Definitely. I live in this space. There is nothing on my list that I will do myself if I can have someone else do it. Cause I have my own list of only things I can do. <laughs> and that list is long enough. Right. I know. I know. So, so that's my ideal client. Those are most of the people that hire us. They just want us to do everything. Okay. Um, talk to me about what about commercial projects? What about, um, strategic partners that may need to use your services on a regular basis where their clients fit uh, in these? Do you have any specific, um, strategic partnerships that you're seeking to, um, uh, I do. I do. Um, I have, um, an architect, um, and a, uh, remodeler and a builder that I work with a lot. I have a realtor, but she's not as busy as she used to be. So I'm really trying to, um, find some other strategic partners. Okay. I have a mortgage person that, um, she sends me business to when someone's buying a new home. Okay. Now, do you have specific areas where the majority of your um, clients reside, specific either um, primary cities that they're at, or um, do you focus or have specialized um, kind of experience in certain areas or housing areas? You know what, Jennifer, honestly, I am all over the place. I mean, okay. we, you know, currently I have about 12 projects going. And, you know, one is in um, Dallas, um, Highland Park area. I have one in Fairview, um, another one in Frisco, uh, another one in kind of North Dallas. I mean, I'm just all over the place. Uh, I have one in Heath, believe it or not, a new build job that we're doing in Heath. So I'm, I'm, I'm everywhere. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna say DFW Metroplex. Surrounding areas. Okay. Um, I have one in Plano. I mean, I, I'm, you know, I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Um, okay. Your tagline, transforming ordinary spaces into musty places. Yeah. What do you think about that? I love it. I mean, that's, I love the tagline cause it's what everybody wants. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, it's the need for change. And, um, you know, that's, that's why I would say half the United States women sit on these, um, HGTV channels and the house.com website is because they get tired of coming home and having to look at that space. That's not welcoming, not comfortable. Um, they don't look forward to coming home to that space the way it is. And right. a lot of times they don't know what to do. They're great at whatever um, specialty, whether they're, you know, an attorney or uh, a medical professional. They're great at what they do, but this is not everybody's, not everybody's. Right. So do you have any ideas how we actually um, appeal to this person through the website? Well, I think that one of the things you can do is um, before and after shots. Um, that's where the kind of creative genius comes in. If they can see a photo that's, um, before you start and after what it looks like, all of a sudden things start, uh, making sense that no matter what the space looks like, that you can really make a huge difference with some simple, uh, simple pieces and some, right. Changes. Okay. Um, 
So, and have you been taking before and after photos? Do you have those ready? Um, I have some, you know, the, the thing is the before photos are usually just with our phone. Okay. And then the after photos, um, we do a lot of times we have it professionally photographed. Okay. Um, all right. I like that. And I think that works fine. Let's, um, okay. Add in here we want a gallery and the gallery is going to be before and after. Okay. I like that. All right. Let's get into homepage navigation. Um, all right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get the basics down. So home about, and then let's jump right into a uh, portfolio, um, which is going to be, we'll have this in two gallery. We'll have, before and after furniture, um, also video. Okay. So let's break down services. If you are going to, I think um, we'll go under solutions. And let's start dropping in what are the primary uh, solutions area we want to call we want to uh, focus on. So from an SEO standpoint, it's one page, one thought. So if we want to uh, focus specific, thank you. If we want to sp focus specifically on interior design, um, then we need to have one page for interior design, for furniture layout plans and so forth. So if you are going to um, tell me what your customers are searching for. And of course our SEO guys will go validate that and they'll go do the searches. What do you think the top five or six things that your um, ideal client is searching for online right now? Um, I mean, definitely, uh, uh, let me think a second. Okay. So, a lot of people want bathroom remodels, kitchen remodels. Yes. Um, they want uh, someone to, you know, do their furniture for them, uh, furniture uh, plan layout, that type of thing, color. Okay. I think you're on the money with the bathroom. Um Remodel and kitchen, living room. You know, uh, and, and I'll tell you, you know, somebody that would be great would be someone that has just purchased a new home. Okay. Because we can, or, or is building a new home, because we can work from the blueprints on up. Uh, once the architect does the blueprints, we can help them. Um, kind of refine them a little bit and then we pick out all of the finishes you know when I say finishes that means the all the flooring all the tile um, all the if there's beams in the house the brick the stone um, you know everything that goes into the house the backsplashes um, the countertops you know just just all of that okay And then when they're done with, then we move after that, you know, we've already set the stage, you know, by picking out all the finishes and if we want to put beams and we do the paint colors and all that, then we move into the interior design of the house with the furniture and, and accessories and artwork and all of that. Okay. Beams, brick and stonework. Okay. Floors, window coverings. Okay. okay. And then art and accessory. Yep, furniture too. Okay. 
um, I'm going to put this under here. Okay, so this is kind of giving you an idea. We'll take an initial stab at this, but um, the way Google is going to evaluate this site is one page, one thought. So right now, the way it's set up is we have all of our primary services under the solutions tab. In the new site, you're going to have solutions, but it's going to have a drop down. So it's going to be interior design, bathroom remodels, kitchen remodels. Then it's going to be um, Barbara Gilbert interiors.com forward slash kitchen remodels forward slash countertops. Then same thing, Barbara oh. Gilbert interiors.com uh, forward slash kitchen remodel forward slash backsplashes. So every one of these titles, if we have one page that says kitchen remodels and we throw the word countertops and backsplashes and cabinets and everything under the one page mm -hmm. that says kitchen remodel, then all of these are going to be um, kind of buried inside Google's paging structure. Whereas if we right. break down kitchen remodel and we have three primary paragraphs that are about kitchen remodels, what to consider, um, uh, what are all the elements of doing a kitchen remodel, what to avoid in a kitchen remodel, that kind of thing. Then we do the same thing for countertops, same thing for back plate, backsplashes. We're going to be in a, a really good position to be able to take um, – the, the goal is you have a content plan. Your content plan is based on the solutions you want to be found for, which is based on your ideal client, what they're searching for. We create one page per service. Each page then becomes the basis of your SEO key phrases. Um, and then each page you want to support with corresponding blog posts. So you may go live with the website with five or six of these pages already uh, done and ready to go and then continue to add pages, which it's actually better um, to go live with the web website. Let's say the only thing we do is interior bathrooms, kitchens, and living rooms or interior furniture layouts and new home construction. And that's the content you have to go live with. Mm -hmm. The benefit is, is once the website goes live, you're going to start adding pages. So you add living room remodels, kitchen remodels, countertops, black backsplashes, and so forth. Um, even interior design and we start getting into locations. So we start interior design Highland Park, interior design Castle Hills. And what will happen is the more frequently you add content to the site, Google is having to crawl that website to identify what that page is and having to crawl your website more frequently the more frequent content comes out. So it actually benefits you to get the basics done, go live, then keep adding content afterwards. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, am I actually adding these pages or are you? We're gonna add all of these pages. So mm -hmm. procedurally what's gonna happen is this design brief, we're gonna finish this design brief, it's gonna go to our design team. The very first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna create a pretty picture, which is a visual representation of your home page. Um, while they're doing the design, which usually is gonna be about three or four days, while they're doing the design work, and this is a creative person similar to you, this is someone that operates in Photoshop, um, this is not our engineers. So this is not the SEO guys that if they made something, it's not going to look pretty at all, but it will get you busy. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is the creative gotcha. guy. <laughs> They're the ones that um, are contacting the web developers and the SEO guys, and they're looking at every single pixel. They want a website to be pixel perfect. It would be, it's the difference between your architects and engineers and you. you. <laughs> Right, I understand, gotcha. So what you're gonna wanna do is, um, whether if you're working with Tammy Kling and you're having her do your content, that's great. If you're doing your content, then between the two of you, you guys are want, gonna wanna put together one, so I'm gonna write it in here, one page per service. Um, it's one thought, one page. So if the page is about interior design, the first paragraph is interior design, the second paragraph, the third paragraph. So um, it can be, uh, for example, let's say this said interior design solutions, and this said um, 10 things to consider when hiring an interior design solutions expert. And then the next paragraph said um, 
interior design mistakes to avoid. For example, that's just kind of an okay. example. Um, that's, that's one page, one thought. So, uh, if this was a furniture page, then we would have custom furniture purchasing plans, custom furniture delivery and installation. Um, so that would be a great furniture page, but we just don't want to mix and match anything. We want it as non-diluted as possible. One page, one thought. Okay. 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 Um, each page you want to be 300 words. Okay. You, wanna, you, you want one focus phrase and you want that to be used um, one time every uh, 200 words. So if you're writing a, a um, or excuse me, one page every 100 words. If you're writing a 300 page article, you're going to use that focus phrase a minimum of three times. Right. Okay. okay. Perfect. All right. So your goal for content, let me go through and I'll just finish out some navigation things. So we have home about portfolio solutions. Let me go back up to the top. Um, we're going to have blog contact. Um, what about an awards page? I think, let's see here. Media and awards. Let's definitely do that. And I'm going to say resources. So resources, your test or your trusted partners could go under. Um, you could also put uh, like furniture galleries. Um, does view catalog most recent? Okay, I think this is good. So we're gonna have um, recent. So the great part about this navigation is because it's WordPress and the way that we're going to um, design the site, you're going to have a standardized navigation menu bar, which means left to right, um, top level navigation with the ability to create sub pages and um, it's literally drag and drop. So this may be the initial stab that we take at um, the navigation, but as we have more feedback from your analytics and the guys on the SEO team. Um, on which pages are they coming to, what pages are they leaving from, and so forth. We'll probably wind up changing the navigation over time. Okay. But this will be a really good first stab at it. Okay, so from a timeline standpoint, uh, let me pull up your Basecamp account real quick. You are going to live inside Basecamp. And we're going to agree to your project schedule. Let's see here. Okay. So here's your design. Um, let's start with the calendar. Okay. So, and I'll go through this whole project. So today we are um, project launch. And... Uh, I'm going to save this and we completed design brief. Uh, now our designers are going to finish your design. I'm going to estimate by um, Thursday or Friday of this week. I'm going to okay. shoot for Thursday. Okay. Initial design complete. And this is going to be home page. Um, now we're going to have, um, your design being complete is a predecessor to the development of your site, but it's not a predecessor to you doing content. So I'm going to say content creation starts here. Okay. Now you are going to want to have your content done before development. So the initial page is design. You're going to review design and provide feedback here. 
Um, it's easy. All you're going to do, they're going to post a message inside Basecamp that says, here's your designs. They're going to submit the designs. And then you can write a message back that says, um, let's change this, 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 and this, whatever the changes are. And okay. if you want me to help walk through that, if it's a lot of changes, then just let me know and we'll jump on a phone call and I'll help walk you through that. But we definitely want to have the design back to them, um, hopefully by Friday, because that'll give them the opportunity to be able to work uh, a little bit on it over the weekend and then present you a new design by Monday or Tuesday. Okay. And you know, I'm leaving on Wednesday. Yep. So what we have to do for the t second design is we have to approve it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, the cool part is there, um, we're going to make sure that we get this nailed down this design brief. Um, we're going to nail this design brief and they're going to present you a gorgeous design. I'm going to okay. make sure that happens. So I'm going to put, of town. Okay. So, um, now same thing goes content. Ha we have to have a hundred percent of content before you leave on the 29th. Right. Do you have a busy weekend? Um, but we're going to go in and we're going to create the right boards, which is where you're going to put the content. So number one, they're going to transfer a hundred percent of your content from your current site. They're going to move it into the new site. And then number two, um, they're going to transfer the right boards, which are all the new pages that we need. So when the site goes live, if you have content that was on the old site but doesn't um, isn't in the main navigation right now, that's okay because it'll be in the back office. All we do is turn those pages on and off, move them inside of the navigation, but they'll be um, public pages that will be in your site map. They just might not be in the menu structure until you get back and we decide where we want to go with those. Okay. Okay, so our goal is to have the design and development by May 1st. Right. All right. Um, the developers are going to take uh, probably, I'm guessing they can have your first, um, first review of the design, which now you're in development. So they've installed WordPress. They've installed the MySQL database. They've set up and configured their server. They've transferred all the content and they're starting to custom code your new theme. So most web companies, they will, um, they'll use, you know, $35 theme that they find on, find on theme forest or something. Mm. Our guys, um, custom code your theme. So it's yours. No one else will have your design. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, so this will be version one of the website. Now something important, um, this version one of the website is not going to be designed for responsive websites, mobile devices, or anything outside of Google Chrome. So they're going to design the entire website inside one primary browser, which is going to be Google Chrome. You'll want to do all your reviews and edits in Google Chrome. And then once we approve the design and we're done with all of our changes and content and so forth, um, then the fi as, and you approve it, then the final element is they have to literally redesign all of the style sheets and prepare this website for responsiveness, which is the visual display on every kind of mobile device, the visual display on all different kinds of browsers, which is creating um, uh, sheets and sheets and sheets of style sheets. So it's a lot of work. So that's why we only code for one. Otherwise, we're making changes and everything, and it, it's a, a much longer process. Okay, so then it won't be optimized for mobile browsing? Not until you approve the design. Once you approve oh, okay, it, gotcha. so, yep, everything will be totally designed, and they're incredibly good at making a mobile responsive website. Right. Uh, but it's the last thing that they do. Okay. Uh, question. Okay. Do you feel like the slideshow... Um, the photo slideshow needs to go. No, actually, good timing. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've talked. We've talked about that a little bit. Yep. Your very next thing is the slider. So navigation's done. Let's talk slider. So I love the slider. This is um, a very visual business. Everybody's visual. It doesn't matter if yeah. you sell air conditioners or interior design. Everyone is visual. So. Um, What's not happening now that I want to happen is this is not being used as any kind of real estate that's going to help you sell. 
or help you attract new customers or help retain clients on the site. So um, what I want to do is I want to break down the sliders and let's methodically think about all the variations. We can make a big list and then we can start narrowing it down. Every slider needs to have a purpose and an intention. So let's start talking. Let me give you some ideas and this will just get your creative stuff going. And then you can start telling me um, what you think is more important. So you really have between three and five slides you can work with. It, okay. can, it will want to include an image um, and, and a header a text, short line of text, and a call to action. Okay, so tell me what the sliders are. So, let me see here. Let me give you an example. Uh, this is definitely not going to fit your business model, but this is an example. Okay. Let me make this smaller. Okay, so for this particular website, every slider is designed to, to speak to somebody. If they open up the site and they want to get an idea, and I'm hovering over it so it's not changing, but they're going to see very quickly, coaching, coaching is an investment in your business and results. Winning, helping others win. Freedom, freedom comes from absolute knowledge and discipline. Thinking, so this is the image, this is the header, this is the text, this is the call to action. Okay. Um, oops. So same thing. Now you're just going to be a lot prettier than our black and white and red, which I'm curious what your color palettes are telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I know. You I know. Some... You know, and I, I want my site to kind of look fresh and clean. Uh -huh. You know, that's why I kind of got soothing colors like with the grays and the you know, so that it would just be very fresh looking. I don't like a lot of these sites that have all white. Yeah. You know, there's so many of them out there that are just white, and I just wanted mine to be a little bit different. That's oh. why I have some white boxes and all of that. Mm -hmm. From a design perspective, if how does that work? Okay. Is that all right? Yes, absolutely. So I think that's perfect. This is your website, as far as I'm concerned, needs to somewhat feel like a magazine. Um, that's what they're used to picking up. They're used to picking up a magazine and flipping through pictures. So these are perfect. Instantly, I'm starting to feel like I'm at the right place. She understands design. This is what I want. I don't have this right now. So um, with the slider images, we just need to figure out, do we want to focus on rooms? So that's an option um, where we, we have um, kitchen, dining, living. Uh, and those are the three different sliders that we have. Or do we want one slider that concentrates on room, one slider that concentrates on furniture, and we're talking more about your new, your unique selling propositions. So, so what, what type of a what type of a photo would go in that? Just a picture of some furniture? Just like these. Just like okay. These. So okay. it may be the living room. This, this would be perfect. And the guys mm -hmm. are going to impose text over this. So what they can do is they can make a shadow box mm -hmm. and on that shadow box, they can put text over it. So you still have this gorgeous picture in the back, but just a shadow box over that design. Okay. Okay. Um, so we can have, let me give you, let's see here. So here's an example. The first one is, um, we may have a header that's uh, four, and for example, we say kitchen. Um, let's see here. For, and I'm just, this is not what it should read, but I'm giving the example. Um, the next one. Okay. Um, excuse me.
for example. So there's an example of three sliders. Uh, okay. And then you'd want to put what the CTA is for each one of them. So what would the call to action be? So this would be um, schedule A. So let's see here. Um, hang on a second. Let me see what CTAs you're using on the site right now. Okay. So it could be view our gallery and um, CTA. Let's, and, um, let's say here, we'll call you. So there's just a couple examples. Like you may have one, this is going to not, um, let's see here, uh, who's, I'm just trying to think of one off the top of my head. So these guys have something that's a little bit bolder. Um, they have something like this, we'll call you. It doesn't need to have to be that bold. Um, but that's an, that's an idea for call to action, which really this is because we use the word convenient. Convenience comes from, um, let me make this easy for you. The next one may be view our gallery. The next one may be schedule a consultation. Right. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put a note on here and I'm going to say this is high end uh, custom design. Okay. And I'll be curious just to see. I think this is good enough to get their ideas and at least have you have something to look at. Sometimes it's easier to edit something that you can see versus coming from scratch or a blank page. Right. Okay, so let's start with these. What do we have? Um, you know what? I totally want to do this um, Dewey Color Specialist, too. I'm going to make four slides. Okay. Um, okay, schedule. Uh, okay, let's talk design. All right, so I've got, um, let's start with those four and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, homepage elements. So uh, this is your header area. This is the um, slider area. And now we're in homepage elements. The way your site is designed right now is it's designed like an interior page. Um, it's got the body content here and a right-hand sidebar. You have on your home page the um, ability to leverage the space better. So just think of the word for same thing as designing a room. Um, the way this is set up, and like an interior page, is taking the most important things on the right-hand side and then having this kind of you know set of content. So that's down the middle let's break things out into um, sections like we're going to be architecting this site this first area that is right here above um, the body but below the slider if we were going to pick um, three four or five probably three or four uh, people that were going to come to the website we can either break it down into um, an image or a call to action, and let me show you another example. 
It can be like, see how they have home security, video monitoring, energy management, home automation. Right. This can be new homeowners, existing homeowners, architects and developers, real estate and mortgage. And you can have one page specifically talking to those individual audiences. That's one way you could do it. Okay. Or we could break it into kitchens, dining, bath, living. Um, or we could break it into, and we can do all of these because we can use different. So they have this section that has each one of these, but then we also broke down um, each one of these because these are specific right. areas that were important as well. If you're going to have top four, top five, top three, what, if, what are the, what is the very first thing you want somebody to be able to dive into when they come to the site? Um, I think I, I, there's two things that I really like. I like having, um, you know, interior designer and explain a little bit about, you know, that about hiring an interior designer or, you know, the 10 things, whatever. Okay. Um, and then I do like having a page for builders and architects. Okay. Um, I don't, and then I think one for realtors would be good. Realtors and mortgage. Okay. But I'm not so sure that they actually look for designers that way that much, mm -hmm. but I, th I think that's a good thing. But I also like the kitchens, bathrooms, bedrooms, you know, living areas. Homeowners, architects, um, let's see, realtors, uh, and mortgage. Would you say architects and builders? And builders, uh huh. Okay. And that could be homeowners or business owners, either one. Oh, we have commercial. Um, and, you know, maybe we leave the realtors and mortgage out if we have to, and then just do the um, business owners. I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, let me play with this. Let's, let's okay. see if we can make it look good with these areas, because I do like the idea of having kitchens, bathrooms, bedrooms, living areas, and office areas. And you, the office areas, you can drive into the business owners as well. Right. Um, and you're dealing with in a, a 600 uh, K and up home, many of them, their office space at home is critical That's right. a deal to them as well. Exactly. Plus you get the corporate referrals. Okay. Okay. So we've got two elements. These are great. Um, so this is, uh, let's come up with like a house description. What would they say? Choose your space something like that. Yeah. Um, we'll come up with something better, some kind of heading. And this would yeah. be, um, just for you. We'll come back to that. I love that, Jennifer. I think that's brilliant. I, I do. I like it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I like that. I like that just for you. Cause you're talking, it's just, just, you are only focusing on them. We get so caught up in what we do instead of what they want. Uh, I do it. I'm horrible. I just did the whole redesign um, template, the design brief for my design team, and Ben came back to me. He was like, no. <laughs> really? Uh-uh. Because for myself, I totally focused on everything that we do instead of what they need. It, right. <laughs> it's just language difference, but I, I should not have done it for myself. I needed somebody else to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's always hard to, to do for yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the same way with everything. Yeah, this is, this is good. I love this. Um, okay. So we are going to have some CTAs we want to have on the, on the homepage. This is in our homepage real estate area. One is going to be, um, can I, instead of get my free report, can I turn this into like an ebook? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I can get someone to write one. Yeah. That's, well, yeah. You, do you have the 10 free smart tips for homes? Yeah. Okay, so we just may, need to make it pretty. And okay. Look. So we're going to go down, load our ebook, and it's called um, Okay, perfect. I'm going to get rid of the word free because as long as we say download, they'll be able to grab it. 
Um, okay, let's see. Talk to me about um, the Move Magicians. You know what? I want to take that down. Um, that was a company. I have another company, and we do really um, like a move concierge. So we'll get we'll get pricing for the movers. We'll get pricing for the packers. Um, we'll meet you know the movers there on on uh, moving day. We'll actually go and look at their new home and do furniture floor plans for them. But it's I have not marketed that much, and so it's going away. Okay. All right, perfect. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we've got, um, let's see what, uh, no, let's say, see why our clients love us. So earlier you talked about having um, testimonials on house. I want the um, guys to get the, uh, I want the guys to get those testimonials and kind of do like a, a why they love us and those will rotate. Oh, great. And I have some others if, if they need some, if they're not happy with some of them are from vendors and some of them are from clients. So, okay. but yeah, I can, I have others. Um, now, how would I refer to you? Founder, CEO, owner, president. I need a title. Chief, chief design, <laughs> chief bottle, cook and washer. bottle washer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess owner, I mean, I, I am the president, it's an LLC. Um, and lead designer, maybe, okay. president and lead designer. All right, let's do that. I mean, what do you think about that? I like that. Um, Or just president and designer. Um, I was trying to get creative, but it might, I was trying to get creative with the use use of the word creative. It didn't work out real well. I'll come back to that in my head, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I want a little bit of text. This is going to be um, get text from home page. So instead of this looking like just content, I want this to look like a letter from you. That way we personalize it. It's from the owner. Um, we put that on the front page and it doesn't just look like website text. Okay. Um, Do we also get to introduce my team? Yes, 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 yes. Um, make this a... Personal letter. I'm curious what they'll do with that. Um, do you have any digital signatures? No. Do you have a fancy signature? I have a terrible signature. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. I'm going to have this. So, my digital signature is good. And make her a fancy digital. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect. I like that. All right. Um, okay, we're going to have... Um, oh, we need to... Let's go back under about... Let's go back up to your navigation about... We're going to have a meet the team. Trusted partners. Uh... I think that's good. And under here, we're going to have, I'm going to make your testimonials a blog category instead of a page. That way you can optimize each one of them individually. Okay. Um, okay. Let's go back down. So um, choose your space just for you. Download our ebook. See why our clients love us. Um, message from the president. Mm -hmm. All right, and so now I'm thinking about image galleries, video galleries. Um, 
you've got some really great videos. You know, we, we also need to talk about how we're going to set up the, you know, portfolio, the image gallery, too, because I was supposed to go in and do a bunch of stuff and I to it, and I haven't had a chance to do that. But do you think it's best to set it up by rooms or just do residential and commercial? I think we do this. We, we, I think we keep it in the, um, the same buckets as these. That way it flows all the way through the website, all the way through your content, all the way through your SEO. And these are all the categories on your um, blogs as well. Okay. Really, really consistent. Okay. Um, yeah, I would definitely do that. So you're going to have, you're going to feel like you have a very, very systematized approach when adding content, adding blog posts, uh, posting to social media sites, your Pinterest account, we can organize the same way, your image galleries, your video galleries, and so forth. So there's lots of different. Uh, Perfect. Um, Um, so I only want to do, let's do, um, how about this? I will, I know you've got a couple videos. I will trade you. If you do a testimonial video for us in this whole process, I'll have my video guy go out and do a welcome video for your website to be the featured kind of pinnacle video. Yeah. Great. I'll do it. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, video library. Okay. I'm going to say fancy. Fancy frame. Okay. All right. I like that. And <clears throat> I don't think I, I'm going to put the gallery on internal pages. We'll put that in your portfolios area. We'll break that out by each one of the different. Um, I think that looks good. Okay. Talk to me about the meet our team. Do you want that on an individual page? Do you want um, a highlighted area where you have uh, individual team members, maybe their headshot, a professional headshot in a circular image like this that rotates. What are you thinking? You know, I haven't really thought about it. What What do you think would work best? How many people do you have? I have two besides two? me. Oh, yeah. easy, easy. Okay, so let's do um, your personal design team. I'm going to say meet your personal design team. Okay. Okay, next person. Title and name. Um, so Amy Armstrong. Okay. She's a a design assistant and then Julie okay and, and it's W H I T H W O R T H no I told you wrong Whitworth W H I T W O R T H sorry she is my project manager okay Okay. Perfect. And you can actually look at their bios that's on the website now. Okay. So you can. Um, oh, you already have. <laughs> yeah. The circle pictures from. And she does some social media stuff for me too. She writes my blogs, but. Um, but I think just saying projects and social media is good. Awesome. Or something like that. Okay. And then. Um, uh, I'm going to have ask a question or ask the expert, uh, ask a question. And then that'll lead them to the each. So each one of you, each one of you will have your own individual page. That way we optimize for your name, uh, for Amy and for Julie's names. Okay. All right. I love that. 
Let's go back to the home page. And okay, let me think of how to bucket this. So above we have kitchens, bedroom, furniture, blah, 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 homeowners, architects, and so forth. So below we're going to have furniture, interior, exterior, flooring, windows, And art. Um, okay, what am I what am I missing? Um, space planning. Lighting. Flooring, lighting. Okay, I got flooring, lighting. Okay, we need some poetry kind of title for this too versus the services we have. Um, okay, now I want to, if you were to um, talk to me about um, the steps if you bucketed so for example in the web business it's um, complete the design complete the content complete the website those are the three things and then in a marketing environment it would be um, create your content plan create your SEO plan create your social media plan create your video plan and execute if you were to put something in that kind of bucket when somebody starts with you um, what are the one two three sound like uh, create a budget Okay. Um, create a um, create. Oh, here's one. Create your vision. Okay. And maybe we take the create a budget out. Oh, this is my husband. Hang on one second. I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm still on the webinar. I was just texting you to tell you that I was still on. Okay, I'll call you when I leave. Okay, bye. Sorry. You're good? Yeah. All right. Schedule a consultation, create your vision. Um, create your vision. Um, plan um, or create your vision. Um, Bless me. Jeez. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So schedule a consultation. So we're going to create your vision. We are um, going to create their design plan. And see a beautiful finished room, house or something. I don't know. Yeah, develop design plan. How about implement? Oh. Yeah, cool. Okay. Okay. Um, Good. All right, I like that, I like that. Okay, now, gallery before and afters, that's good. Um, this is going to be um, interior. Let me just say, this is gonna be an interior page. Details, 
Okay. Um, call to actions. So we're going to say uh, schedule a consultation. Um, let's see here. That's your primary one. I put a bunch of them up there. I'm going to say see above, and I'll transfer those down here. Do you have any websites that you've spent a lot of time on and you like? You know, I love house.com, um, but, you know, there's a lot of designers on there, too. So mm -hmm. I hate to send them there at this point because maybe they'll choose someone else. Yep. These guys, these will just um, be things that the designers get ideas from. I And I would have put the same thing. Um, there's so I don't know that I would put house.com on there because of that. Well, this, the only thing that the designers will do, they won't send people to house.com because I agree with you with that. They'll just get it for design ideas as far as designing your site. Oh, 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 okay. Of images, layout. I'm going to say use of images, layout, functionality, and interactivity. Right. I thought when you said that, you know, the sites that I like, it meant that like to tell people to look at these other sites. So I'll tell you, there's a site that I like, but she actually offices with me. So I don't really want to copy her. Um, it's uh, Tracy Connell Interiors. It's that one that you, mm -hmm. I think you looked at that with me last it's time. Connell. Yeah, is this going to be in the recording? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's move into stock images. And we'll, they'll just get a few ideas. It'll be totally custom. So um, that'll just be for general ideas. Okay, so why, what do we have to use stock images for? Like what type of things? Um, so this is going to be, let me just grab your... These are your stock images. They're going to need them for these. And they also may need some stock images for each of these. I mean, shouldn't we use the images that I have for those things? Absolutely. If you have them, um, what I'll do is I'll have them hold placeholders, and then you can upload all of the different uh, images in your project. So you would go into Basecamp. And where it says files, you go in here and just simply start uploading uh, as many files as you can find. Okay. And the more images and graphics you have that are custom, uh, the better. And I'm going to put in here, I'm going to write that in here. So what you'll probably want to do is um, tonight or tomorrow, as soon as you can start uploading those, I would do that. They're going to start working on this design tonight. So the sooner you oh, okay. those images up would be the better. And it's real fast for you to do that. Okay. Um, okay. And you've already got access. So that's good. One other thing I'm thinking about, Jennifer, um, I belong to, well, in my bio, um, I, you know, I was the president of the Interior Design Society of Dallas Fort Worth chapter. Now I'm actually on the national board, okay. but I'm also a member of you know ASID, so ASID IDS. Um, and if you look at some of the things that I've like uh, you know on my awards page, we've won. Last year we won two two awards: one for one ASID award for bathrooms and one IDS award for bathrooms. Awesome. Um, I'm 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 on House Talk Today Radio a lot, so I don't know how much we really want to talk about those things. Um, on the House Talk Today Radio, do you get the media files from that? 
You know, I can get them. I absolutely can get them. I um, I have not been, which I know is stupid. And they just interviewed me. And I also did the show house um, that opened up this weekend. And I'm telling you, we are getting rave reviews. I'm so excited. I love that. So um, I want to say something like an as featured on. Hang on a second. What is the website address for that uh, show? Um, it's uh, it's House Talk Today Radio. Okay. So I guess it's www.housetalktodayradio.com. Okay. Or House, yeah. It's on 6.60 a.m., 6.60 a.m. Okay. On Saturdays from 1 to 3. Okay, I'm going to drop that on there because I want to see what they do with it. Okay, very good. And what was it? Um, what were you featured in this last weekend? Um, oh, well, I'm, I've am i got a couple of like newspaper article things that have come out because I did the um, this show house, the demonstration home. It's high performance. Okay. And um, that's what that first video was made when I we picked out when I picked out all the finishes. And now the second video will be with all of the furniture and, and the house complete. But I was also on the show for a while. They interviewed me on Saturday. Um, but we're getting you know we're getting a lot of press from that, and uh, we have the, we have a PR person that's actually doing that. Okay. And uh, so it, it all it opened last weekend this past weekend so awesome okay so as you get more content from that uh let's get that we'll get that integrated for now um uh, okay i'll have an area on there for press and so forth okay and uh, we'll make sure and get that especially on the media and interior pages all right um what do you like love about your existing site i know colors um oh one correction the national board is ids not asid ideas okay. I just saw that but I am a member of ASID I'm an allied member yeah okay and then ASID so um, if those are not if you have other logos that are not on here definitely upload those otherwise I'll have them get these uh, from here okay Okay. So I think I'm So I'll tell you what I love about my website and you're not gonna hear you're not gonna like to hear this, but I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I love my slideshow and I love that that top banner where you can see through. Okay. Let's see. Um I really do like the colors. Um I and I think that it's just clean, but it's fresh, but yet I think it's still classy looking. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Excellent. I'm going to say I'm clean. Okay. I love it. And you know, for the call to action, we kind of put that uh, salmon color in. I, I like the way that works with it too. I wouldn't want too much in there, but if you look at the home page, you you know you see it there. Um, I mean, I think those two colors work well together, and I just and I and I do like the gray uh, mixed in with it. Okay. Okay. Do you know what the PMS color or um, HTML color of that blue is? I don't, and I'll tell you, it was so hard. I kept sending the web designer, you know, colors, and for him to get it right, it was really difficult. Okay. Um, what they'll I, do is they'll use a color picker. Um, okay. So it it'll get it'll get this exact color. Of course, it shows up different on different monitors, so that's just something to take into consideration. But I'll have them get a mm -hmm. color picker, choose it. Okay, and, um, that's it. And what do you think about that? Where it says "Get my free report," you know that salmon color. This one, I do like that. 
I would okay. only use that for call to action buttons. Right. Okay. And, and you know what? Um, I am not really very excited with the um, font, you know, on the top. Um, what is that? The header where it says Barbara Gilbert Solutions, all of that. Uh -huh. I mean, I think, I think some of that could be just a little bit more fun maybe. Okay. On your logo? No, on the header where it says Barbara Gilbert, you know, next to the logo. You know, where it says Barbara Gilbert Solutions yeah. about us. I don't like that home page button. Yeah. Mm. We'll let them, I'm curious to see what they do with designs. Let's, um, let's let them take a stab at doing the fonts and design things. And then uh, if we don't like it, then we can go back to the drawing board. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I'm, I don't like that at all. So whatever they come up with, I'm sure it'll be, be better. Okay. Don't like the fonts. Um, let's see here. All right, what are some other things that you dislike currently about your site? No, there's not a whole lot. I really, I, I, I like my site. I can tell you things that I do like about it. I like on that home page some of those round circles that kind of break up all the linear you know, where they have some of those little pictures. Okay. Okay, I have no shopping cart on here. Um, I'm also going to put the social icons are not creative and don't stand out. Okay. Don't. I mean, the best way I can describe what I would like to see, and I, and I know it's hard for them, but I would like it to be a little bit fun, but yet sophisticated and fresh. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, 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 yes. So... Okay. Um, all right. Let's see here. Okay. Very good. Um, let's see here. No, we got, so no. Um, do you have your um, logo in a really high resolution format? Yes. Okay. Yes. Will upload. So you're going to want to upload that to Basecamp. Okay. Uh, they can do some really cool stuff with your logo, like imposing it on images and that kind of overlay and so forth. So. Okay. Um, Am I going to get a login and everything for Basecamp? I don't have that yet. Yeah, you should have it. Um, I'll have Mike send you uh, another invitation. Okay. It'll come into your email. All right. Let's see here. Do me a favor. Check your spam folder and see if it's in there. It might be. Um, I'm going to say yes. We'll upload. Uh, which email address do you want him to uh, send it to? Um, he can send it to. Um, it doesn't matter. Barb Gilbert at Gmail and Barbara uh, at Barbara Gilbert Materials both go into my Gmail account. So either one. Barb Gilbert at gmail.com. Okay, perfect. So. All right, so here's our schedule. We're done with this piece. Um, yeah. Okay, it should be in your Gmail. So, first things first, Project Launch Con Design Brief created today. 
you'll um, get started on the content pages for the navigation that we outlined. We'll put this entire document inside uh, Basecamp. <coughs> Plus, I'll share it with you as well. Okay. Um, content creation starts tomorrow. We'll have the initial homepage design completed by the 24th. The only thing that can throw a project off course as far as the timeline goes is one not having your content pre-organized at the start of the project and on time as far as the project schedule number two is not knowing what you want when it comes to doing your reviews and providing feedback so um and i'm sure you you understand this greatly in your industry <laughs> yeah i do okay. i do so it's all those things like um, I don't like it. What do you like? I don't know. Or I want it to pop or let's make it stand out. Um, you have to be really specific and say, you know, I prefer you change this gray to black. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Gotcha. Perfect. 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 So I can, I can literally go through every project in the entire pipeline and anything that doesn't go live on time is from one of those two things. I'm sure. I'm concerned about the content at this point because there's a lot of content and I'm not exactly sure, I mean, you know, exactly what we need. Am I going to hear from uh, Trina soon? Um, Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We'll make sure Tammy gives you a call. I'll, um, oh, Tammy, yeah. She sent me an initial email and she said that she was going to really look at the site, you know, and all of that. And um, so I don't know. I haven't heard anything back. But yeah, I would love to know what she would charge to do all this. And then. All right. Let me. Um, I'm going to actually, I'll share this document with Tammy. And okay. She'll have an idea, and then I'll have her get back with you right away as well. Okay. Um, I'm not. I'm not that good at writing. You know, I have Julie that can do it, but I want to make sure that someone does it that really understands what all this is about. Five thousand percent agree. I tell okay. everybody get on the right bus, on the right seat, and stay in your lane. Right. <laughs> so, right. I totally agree. Um, all right, we'll do that here. Let me give you a, a worst case scenario, which is still a best case scenario. Worst case scenario is, um, we create all of, uh, the proper pages inside your new website. We create the proper navigation. We hide some pages until after go live and we continue to work on additional content after that. So let's say you have two or three of the right pages plus your existing content. That's okay. You want to get your new site live as quickly as possible. Then we can continue to add additional pages. It's literally in, in minutes and it actually is better to add the content post go live. So Google starts crawling it than it is um, to have a hundred percent of all your content on the site before you go live. Gotcha. Okay. So either way, it's okay. We don't stop working on it just because it goes live. It just means we're focused on those things. The other benefit is, is um, when you're doing your content in a pre go live, uh, environment, you're focused just on text. When it's in a post live environment, the SEO team's also taking a look at it deeply too. So both things are important. It, it works okay. well either way. Okay. All right. When are you back from your trip? Uh, we come back on the, um, 12th, but like late at night, I'm hoping to be in the office on the 13th, but it just really depends. Now I will have, um, I'm going to have my computer with me and internet access. So if there's something that you need to run by me or whatever, just, you know, send me an email and I'll get back to you. Okay. So, um, we'll put on here the 13 web, uh, site for review. Let's put by the 15th that we have um, all changes complete, um, which the, the better we can be about putting all the changes into one document in between here and here, if you want to jump on the phone with me, um, what is this? Are we in May? No, this is still April. This is May though, I think, right? What are we, oh yeah, the 21st is, okay. That's all right. So from Costa Rica, I will jump on the phone with you on either the 14th or the 15th, or if you and Ben want to go through the entire site and it, you feel organized about putting all your changes in there, you can drop them right into Basecamp okay. and they'll make them happen. They're is, especially okay. with the amount of clarity you have, they'll get them done. Okay. 
Perfect. All right, and let's plan on doing um, final review, review of version two, and then um, let's have approval uh, by the 21st, by the 23rd, responsive, design complete, removal, and um, let's say go live on a Monday. Okay. Look good? Sounds good. All right. It's relatively aggressive. Normally it's 45 days. We're going to push it for slightly under that, but I think we'll be fine. Okay. Perfect. All right. right. Thank you so much for your trust. I appreciate it. And thank you, Jennifer. The time up front. With okay. Me. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good evening. All right. Bye, -bye. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.